Hi there. This video is intended to be an introduction to basic cardiac ultrasound and a little bit of cardiac anatomy. So this view that we see here, if you guys have watched the introductory video already, uh, you'll recognize it as the view that I see on the terminal screen on the simulator terminal in this monitor that I'm sitting in front of here in the, uh, in the simulation lab. Uh, over here on the left, um, you'll see the uh, augmented reality heart with the wand and some of the settings for the simulator on the right. You can ignore these. On the right, we'll see the ultrasound image that is projected um, by the wand that is simulated by the machine based on where I put the wand on the dummy. Uh, these are some settings over here. Uh, these are So these are real settings on an actual cardiac ultrasound machine or not on an actual ultrasound machine of any type. You'll see some of these settings. These are uh, these are real. We're not going to use them here, but they they are real, and there's stuff some stuff that you'll need to learn more about as things go by. Another important difference about uh, this view that we see here on the right is that we don't we don't have a lot of the uh, other things that make ultrasound difficult. We don't have bones. We don't have other organs. Uh, bones would provide some shading sometimes that would cover structures that you're try trying to visualize. And we don't have that here. What we have is a pretty idealized version of what the heart is going to look like on ultrasound. Another important thing to note here to get uh, yourself oriented to the screen is this green dot. So this green dot helps you, the ultrasonographer, or me, the ultrasonographer in this case, get oriented to the view. So this dot corresponds to this side of the plane of cut, this dot here, this dot to this dot, this side to this side, this bottom side here corresponds to this bottom side. Now that seems pretty straightforward, but getting oriented on, on ultrasound is, is actually pretty difficult. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, and talk about how ultrasound works real quick. So ultrasound works by projecting out a sound wave and then the crystals on the inside, then send that to the computer and the computer interpolates that and analyzes it and gives you a signal back. Now this has gotten pretty sophisticated, but the principle is still the same in that Things that reflect sound show up and as white, and things that don't reflect sound don't really show up. So things that don't reflect sound are air, empty spaces, uh, blood, and a, and, a, and a number of fluids. And so you'll see here that on this plane of cut, you're not seeing much. This is all gray because nothing's being reflected back. And on, on this plane, you'll see that we're just starting to go through the edge of the myocardium here, and that's reflected right here. So the white means it's, it's, it's hitting substance and is reflecting a sound back. You'll also notice over here that there's a depth meter to indicate how deep that we're looking into the person's body. So this is uh, this plane of cut is deep enough it's going to go past the heart, and you can see that our, our, our cardiac structures are probably going to max out around here, around the 10, 12, 14 centimeter level. So I'm going to advance the video here just a bit so you can see how this thing works. And you'll notice we've got a pretty good, we've got a pretty good view here. This cut shows the right atrium right here. So this is the right atrium. This is the right ventricle. This is the right ventricle. And at this point in the heartbeat, we, uh, we see that the tricuspid valve is closed. So this is the closed tricuspid valve here. This oblong structure on the ultrasound corresponds to the aorta here. So this is a, you can see how this plane and how this slice will give you um, a whole lot of different views and there's uh, this is one of the big uh, challenges of ultrasound, is that there's essentially infinite views that you can see. I've started the video back, and you can see how moving the wand back and forth gives you all these different complicated views of all these structures. And because there is essentially uh, infinite ways to hold the wand and infinite views of the heart, we've established some standards in order to, uh, in order to give people a frame of reference. Uh, for getting oriented when they look at an ultrasound view, and that's what we're going to look at here. So the view that I presented right here is called the a, apical long axis view. It's called apical because the tip of the ultrasound wand is right here uh, on the closest part of the sternum to the apex of the heart. This is the apex of the heart, thus apical, apex. And this is the longest view, longest slice through the heart you can get. So it's on the long axis of the heart. It's the apical long axis view. Now, this is a specific type of apical long axis view. This is called the apical five chamber view. And you can see here, I'll advance it just a second to get a better image. Um, you can see here that we can see four chambers of the heart, one, two, three, and four, uh, corresponding to right atrium, right atrium, right ventricle, 
right ventricle, left atrium, left atrium, and left ventricle. So the fifth chamber here is actually not a proper chamber of the heart, it's the aorta. This is the aortic valve, one of the semilunar valves, and this is it right here on our virtual view. You can see here that the, uh, the mitral valve is open and that the, uh, that the uh, left ventricle is uh, starting to expand in volume and you'll see that come out there so this is a this is a fairly decent shot of the apical five chamber view which is a type of apical long axis view it's one of the many views that you'll see and learn about as you learn more about cardiac ultrasound as you progress through your time in the clinic